uh, between the healing crusades that I and others had in the late 40s, 50s, and 60s, and even into the 70s, and the tremendous crusades of uh, Benny Hinn and uh, others like him, but uh, Benny Hinn principally because he is the largest on the field now, was we had the sawdust trail. We had the big, the big tents for the simple reason there were not many big auditoriums in America. But now then, it changed. The old sawdust trail is over. The jet airplanes are flying. The big, magnificent air-conditioned auditoriums have been built, 15,000, 20,000. And uh, now then, as the Spirit of God has come, say, Benny Hinn, the Lord chose to manifest the word of knowledge more in him than he did me. Not that Benny Hinn doesn't lay hands on people at times and uses other methods, but the predominant way that I see as I attend his, his crusades and often sit on the platforms and sometimes speak is that there's this first special anointing that God gave him to give now what God gave me to give was healing. Healing came through me. It was not of me, it was of God. And it came through me as an instrument to the people. There's a powerful anointing as I've never witnessed. And I saw Catherine Kuhlman, who I thought was unparalleled and who I hold in sacred memory as being one of all time in her field. But along came a young man that incorporates some of what I and others did in the years we were on the field, much of what Catherine Kuhlman uh, was led to introduce to mankind, but to become his own distinctive self so that there is an, an anointing that stands out for example, as I felt the presence of God, and still do, going through my right hand as a point of contact, Benny feels that as they start ministering and worshiping God, the singers and the people lifting their hands, he is uh, guiding that. He's often leading the singers. He's waiting for the anointing. And when that anointing comes, say, I'm sitting there. It fills the building. It's a total atmosphere change. You feel it going through you. When you look out at the crowd, the tears roll down people's faces, and you suddenly realize they're, they're running down your face. And you're feeling it. And you're caught up in the magnificent presence of God. In the midst of that anointing, he calls up people. He has stood there and felt the, the word of knowledge, and he gives the word of knowledge about certain diseases being, being cast out, certain types of uh, people feeling the healing power. And if he felt that, come forward. And his men check them when they come. Then they come on the stage, and he introduced them. Or when he touched people, they would just be slain in the spirit. What? we full gospel people call being slain in the spirit. They're not slain, it, that's just a, a, a symbolic way of saying that the Holy Spirit and takes over in God. that person's life. And a miraculous healing would often accompany that. And as she had him, as she could, Don't have her no she more. doesn't have any more. I knew if I got her here, she'd be healed. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. But whether the miraculous healing took place or not, a powerful anointing what do you feel on you? comes yes, upon the people. I feel like a new man. And the expression on their face is, is so amazing. Uh, you know that they've had an encounter with God. They've had a miracle. Eight years ago, my husband shot me through the lung. But God restored our marriage. And we're both serving the Lord. But... A year ago, they said I have asthma, and it was eight years ago this month when he shot me, and I know Satan just came back to, 
to tell me that I'm not healed and I'm healed. And tonight when we were praising the Lord, he touched me, he touched me, and I'm healed. And I praise God. I'm you can breathe now. Yes. <laughs> Give the Lord a great hand of praise. I think a higher level has come. And I think Benny Hinn has brought and it was a so greater great dimension tonight. of the anointing yeah. and the healing oh, power of God. Look, I've been down that trail. I've been up the stream and over the mountain. I know when it's real and I know when it's false. Benny Hinn is real. He doesn't need to change a thing, just be himself, because the anointing is on him, and the best is yet to come. Is life and Jesus came to give life in John 10 10 it is said I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly do not mistake what sickness is sickness is no blessing of God it is no gift from heaven it is no perpetuation of earthly life it is a death dealing power that comes into your body dries up the the flesh it comes inside you and kills the organs. It takes your sight, it takes your hearing, it takes the use of your limbs. Yes, sickness comes in with one purpose, to steal and kill and destroy. Sickness comes with torment. How many times people in the Bible came running up to Christ speaking of sickness in terms like this? My servant lies deathly ill, tormented, tormented. The word torment is often used in the Bible in connection with sickness and disease. Sickness is not life, it is death begun. It is death in your body, cutting you down prematurely. It is death reaching out its icy hands and taking you from the stage of action, putting you flat of your back or in a hospital somewhere. Sickness is no friend of God, no friend of you, no friend of anybody but the devil. Healing is life. And Jesus came to give you life. Christ came not with a life-shortening suggestion. He came not to make you sick, but to make you well. He never made anybody sick when he was upon the earth, but he healed multitudes of people.